Well, for somebody like me, there's a practical problem. Um, the sort of teaching I do is very expensive for the people I'm doing it to. And there has to be something to justify that. There has to be some equivalent value they get out of it that they couldn't get out of some sort of video technology or online technology or, or virtual world alternative. Um, those things are getting more and more sophisticated, more and more flexible, more and more exciting all the time. So what am I going to give that would begin to compete? Now, I, I hate to talk the language of business about this because that's not really how I feel about it. But Well, to me, the answer has always been that education is in large part the creation of human communities, um, which enable learning and development. But I think the the class experience, you know me, not necessarily in the classroom, but the class experience creates its own dynamic, its own impetus to maturation, its own impulse to moral development that I don't find that I get when I go on an educational website. That to me is um, the challenge. Now that's a very indirect answer to your question because what it really is is a kind of attempt to justify a non-technological approach to education rather than to try to talk about which bits of technology do I think are most exciting.